I grew up in Happy, Texas, and I was, grew up on a dairy farm there. So, and I was one of 11 children. My parents were very, very faithful to their Catholic faith. My dad was a German and my mother is Swiss. So they were very um, strict um, and, and didn't know the words, I love you. <laughs> so I kind of grew up with a, a being, so, being one of many, um, kind of just put in the background and grew up thinking that I was nobody. That inability to respond to love in an affectionate way was a very difficult thing for me. And I was very shy. I was so shy, I would not look at people in the eyes. I would look at their feet and I would learn who they are by their shoes. So um, <laughs> that, and in that brokenness, the Lord called me. It was just kind of like an accident that God was taking me out of this family situation in which I was not growing and took me um, by circumstance into the convent. At that time I was so anxious I could not read. I would probably read on a third grade level. This is when I was in the ninth grade. The circumstances led me to be in the convent, I'll just put it that way. And I think it was God's way of protecting me. And, and kind of coming to tell me you are somebody and you can do things, something for me. When I was a young sister, uh, I went to Mexico. This was right after I finished my, my degree in, in, in elementary education. Uh, so the sisters did teach me how to read, by the way. <laughs> there in Mexico, the Lord gave me a special experience of his love. While I was there, God the Father woke me by making me feel this incredible warmth throughout my body. And he told me, I love you. You don't have to do anything, just accept it. And since that time, the rest of my life, this, is, this has kind of been the moment when I can go back to, to know that I am loved. For the first like 20 years of my life, I worked as a first grade teacher, learning from the children uh, and, and getting some confidence in myself. And then the Lord called me to work um, in religious education and remembering the pain that I went through as a teenager. I, I, my special love was to touch the life of a teenager and let them know how much they're loved and how special they are to God. I met Sister Jane. She was the religious educator, director in Plainview. And uh, they were doing these confirmation retreats, whereas my, our daughter was went that year. Well, when she came back from that retreat, it was just an overwhelming experience for us because she was like glowing. And I was like thinking, why is she glowing? You know, what happened? Because those retreats that she helps put on, we learned so much. We learned from each other. We learned from the other speakers. We learned from the teens. Everything was just, it's just amazing about how she brought simplicity into a world that's sometimes we make really hard. And I think one of the biggest things for me working with Sister Jane is what she taught us is to be the first to love in whatever situation there is. If you're the first to love, then everything's gonna be okay. If it wasn't for her showing me the love that she had for God, for her faith, and yes, she did, oh, uh, not feel like she was doing anything or uh, doing the work of God, but she did an amazing job because if it wasn't for her, my family wouldn't be where it is. I really am grateful that God put her brokenness in our lives so we can learn from her. I really feel like some young ladies feel like they don't have anything to give the church. They have nothing to, to offer. Um, how could they possibly serve God when they feel bad about themselves? So the reason I'm saying this is that God will take you wherever you are and use you as his instrument.